All righty, here I am, Dawn again, with Mima's Hippabilly Homestead. And today we are out at my brother's farm, Old Matt Donald Farm. And we are getting ready today to plow the garden plot that we use. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, kind of leftover from last season. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. It's April 1st and we have not been able to do anything. Hello ladies, there's the, uh, the chickens and the chicken coop over there. So I am going to let him fire that up and get this ground ready to go. Kind of move over here out of the way. We got a couple of uh, beef cattle out here. He's got his his cows that he raises for meat. They're all grass fed. And in this little building here right next to us, this is where we are going to put our meat rabbits. It used to be an enclosure that he had for, what do you have out here, cows? Uh, horses first, then we started using it for uh, our calves, our fat calves, and then it just turned harder because of the water being all located over there to run hoses across in the winter and freezing up. So just put this garden here last year for the first time because it was a pasture. We got a lot of wild carrot, and wild parsnip. And so it requires a little help along the way if you don't spray. <laughs> Trying to keep it all, yeah. keep it all natural, not use a bunch of herbicides and yeah. and junk yeah, all that yep um, but with the rain tomorrow i don't know if i'll get home from work in time um tomorrow probably midday would be ideal to do this but when you work you gotta work when you can gotta work when you can uh, yep yep and with that being said it needs it. it'll be a little clumpy because it is still well a bit on yeah the, the wet side but might have to go over it again, but at least you can get it. It'll knock the broke it up. up and dry things out, kill some of this grass that just came in and yeah. uh, things got away from me last year. So All right. we're gonna till it up. We got a nice little uh, six foot rotary tiller and uh, yeah. around here will take care of it in quick work. Um, and then we'll let Mother Nature decide if it's time to <laughs> do some more. Do some more. Over here in the background, I was gonna, t I was gonna show the um, future homemade greenhouse thing. Yeah, that steel pole structure was like a motorhome, um, motorhome shed canvas that goes over. It's all been deteriorated. Uh, that was just something that I could get my hands on. It was free years ago and didn't really know what we were going to do with it. And so in watching some of the videos, um, I think fairly reasonable. We can have a makeshift greenhouse. It won't be top of the line because we don't have top of the line funds. There you go. You make do with what you got and you bloom where you're planted, kids. That's right. So. All right, cool. We'll Over fire there. this. We'll get that out of there. Uh, hopefully get that done through the summer, early fall. And then I hope to about where that's located, yeah. continue um, with some blueberry bushes, um, asparagus. What else over there? Some black raspberries that are on the hill. I'm going to transplant. Elderberries? Elderberries have already been planted. Okay. Um, I, I think I'm going to get some starts this weekend too down at the shindig from um, Ben and and Andrea. They've got some, and there's another family, the Broussards, have their homestead uh, group. They're coming, Elderberry and they're starts. yeah, they're going to have some to sell and yeah. give away and stuff. So yeah, that was too. I. Uh, I do love the elderberries. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to make some syrup, too, for our health. Syrup, jelly, and wine. There you go. <laughs> Three food groups. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So, I'll get out of the way. Fire this baby up. If I can keep it out of the chicken wire, I'll be good. Yes, sir. <laughs>
But it's one thing about living where we do. We've got this beautiful black, rich Illinois dirt. And they're kind of down in a river valley area. And it is nice to grow stuff, let me tell you. So it was pretty wet. Uh, wetter than I would for sure like, but take what you get. It, it will crumble. So um, with the temperatures being really cold, uh, 26 I think last night or something, it's it's got a little ways to go. <laughs> now, now that it's tilled up, at least if we get the inch and a half of rain that they're talking about, um, this will dry a lot quicker. Yeah. We'll have some 